Alright everybody, I'm Chris. Welcome back to My Bonsai. And today we're going to be working on a Dwarf Crepe Merkle. Let's go check it out. Alright guys, here it is. And uh, I saw a video on YouTube here recently. I will try to put a card up here in the corner uh, that talks about it. But this fellow was talking about these Dwarf... This is a Dwarf Crepe Myrtle. And uh, anyway, he was saying that... Um, you know, when you're looking for these, find the one with the craziest name you can. And so this one is uh, Ricky Ticky. That sounds pretty crazy. Uh, <laughs> and it seemed in his experience, the crazier the name, the more dwarf of a planet is. So this is uh, less than two feet, maybe 18 inches or so. So let's uh, start with our best tip ever and get the knife out. Of course, there goes my label. Oh, I need to trim this pot down so we can get in here. I've already kind of lowered the soil around the tree and I did a lot of looking while I was at the store so I found the best one they had. Need to get myself one of those turntables. All right, there we go. Let me bring you in so I can show you the uh, the root base on this thing is really nice. All right, so if I can hold it still enough, you can see we've got plenty of nice radial roots in here. We've got one that is kind of really out of proportion, but that'll have to be dealt with next year. We'll probably cut that one off and see if we can get it to branch. But uh, the trunk line is actually very nice too. It's got a lot of movement. And if we come up here, if I take this piece right here off, I think we're gonna have something really, really interesting going on. Okay, let me back up so we can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I tried to put this piece of paper in here so I can show you the future line that I wanna go for. So this comes up, comes to a nice point, and turns really nice and sharp, comes up to here, and then I can train this one out and make that the, the future leader. Problem is, We've got all this stuff over here, which is going to cause a lot of inverse taper. Probably got four or five branches all coming out here at one spot, so we're going to have to thin a lot of that out. I don't think I want to take it all out. I'll probably leave this part here for now and take that out maybe later. I might even thin this up a little bit to get more sunlight down in where uh, my leader is going to be at. But uh, this would be almost clip and grow kind of a, of a tree as it sits right now. So, let's get the clipping. So this is the real offender right here. Great big piece. Uh, lop off most of it here in one shot. All right. And you can see there's all kinds of dead wood in here stuff up a little bit okay now maybe you can see the problem that I'm trying to avoid I've got this great big branch coming up here and this would make a pretty good leader too but I think I want to I want to go that way and then train this little guy right here so we're gonna go ahead and clean this little chunk off of here Perhaps it's my inexperience, but I think I'm going to take this one off now because that's three branches coming into one area. Uh, it's kind of bad practice, so. All right. 
Well, we'll have to put this guy out here and let it grow for a while and see what the tree offers up.